Hi friends, welcome to Shada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shiva. Today's session, we are going to learn the top most important solvent interview questions. These are the top ten solvent interview questions which is commonly asked by the interviewers. The first one is whether thread can be used in the servlets. Whether threads can be used in the servlets or not? Yes. we can use it the threads uh, we can use threads can be used in the servlets it's it's possible we can create the threads and we can use it the threads in the servlets the next question is what exceptions should be thrown when a servlet is not properly initialized if you are not properly initialized the servlet it will be thrown the servlet exception or un unavailable exception the next question is what is an applet container what is an applet container it is a container to manage the execution of an applet and it consisting of the web browser it consisting of the web browser and the java plugin running together onto the client see here a applet container it is a container to manage an execution of the applet and also it consisting of the web browsers uh, and a java plugin running together in the client the next question is what are the functions of servlet container what are the functions of the servlet container the main functions of the servlet containers are life cycle management managing the life cycle events of an a servlet like class loading instantiation initialization service and uh, making the servlet instantiation eligible for the garbage collector the next one is uh, communication support handling the communication between a servlet to the web server the third one is uh, multi threading support automatically creating a creating a new thread for every servlet request and uh, finishing it when the servlet service method is over the next one is declarative security it managing the security inside the xml deploying the descriptor file the final one is uh, jsp support it is converting the jsp uh, to servlets and uh, maintaining them these are the major functions uh, doing by the servlet container the next question is uh, what is the servlet chaining it is the method in which the output of one servlet is piped into the next servlet it is the last servlet in the chain that provides an output to the web container if you see we are calling the one servlet to the another servlet another servlet to the another servlet it is going continuously going on this is called servlet chaining the next question is what is the difference between calling a reader send request redirect uh, request dispatcher using the servlet request and servlet context while using a servlet request a relative url can be provided which can use be done while using the servlet context next question is why is http servlet declared as an abstract the default implementations of main servlet method do not do anything and it needs to be overridden this is called an http servlet class to be declared as an abstract within uh, we, uh, we, we, with its use to uh, use the developer do not need to implementing all the services methods see here the default implementations of the main service uh, method do not do anything and need to be overridden this calls of the http server uh, http servlet class do declared as an abstract with its use of a developers do not need to implement all the services of the methods the next question is when should you prefer to use do get over the do post method Uh, get is preferable over the post in the most of the most of the situations except the following when the data is sensitive you need to use the do post method when the data is greater than 1024 characters we need to use must and should we need to use the do post method the next question is when using servlet to build the html you build a doc type line why do you do it do that see here why using the servlets to build that HT, build the html you build a doc type line why do you do that 
Building a doc type line informs that HTML validators about the version of HTML you are using. This tells the specifications against which your document should be checked. These validations works as a variable debuggers which helps you to catch the HTML syntax errors. That is the purpose you can use the doc type. The next question is why is the constructor needed in the servlet even if you use the init method? Although the init method of the servlet initializes is the constructor initiates it. The developer might never explicitly call the servlet constructor, but a constructor uses its creates the instances of the instantiation of the servlets. See here the constructor needed in the servlet even though if the init method is uh, init method is available although the init method of the servlet initializes it a constructor instantiates it a developer might never explicitly call the servlet constructor but a con container uses it to create an instantiation of the servlet thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.